Toronto drafting Austin Matthews, the year of the Finn. These were two major storylines you thought of when thinking about the 2016 NHL entry draft. However, in my opinion, they weren't the biggest uh, storyline when talking about the top five picks in this year's draft. What's going on, guys? Mr. Wheels here once again, welcoming you to another edition of Sports Talk. I've been gone for a while. Uh, there's another video that I'm going to do um, tonight. We'll be up tonight. Um, it's going to explain why I've been gone. I uh, talk about the future of my channel, major announcements, talk about my future uh, just in general as well. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now let's break down the top five picks in this year's draft. So Toronto takes Austin Matthews, not a big surprise. Between the first and second pick, Montreal, who was expecting to make some moves, sent Lars Eller to Washington uh, for two second round picks in 2017 and 2018. Uh, then Chicago, right after that, traded Andrew Shaw to Montreal for two second round picks in 2016. Uh, so this leaves Winnipeg with the second overall pick. They take Patrick Laine. Um, you know, sticking to the storyline. Patrick Laine, the top Finnish player projected to go in the draft, goes second overall. Uh, where things get interesting, Pierre-Luc Dubois, who was probably projected in a lot of mock drafts to go probably fifth overall or even later, ends up going third overall to Columbus. Um, now, Jesse Poviarvi was probably projected to go third overall to Columbus, and he didn't. Now, you would think that Vancouver, with the fourth pick, uh, would have taken Poviarvi. They didn't. They took another fin instead. Only Eurolevy, I think is how you say that. So, Edmonton, um, with the fifth pick, gets an absolute steal in Jesse Poviarvi, in my opinion. And I think he will fit in in the years to come in Edmonton. Uh, there'll be room made for him because Edmonton is projected to lose um, either Neil Yakupov, Jordan Everly, Taylor Hall, or Ryan Nugent Hopkins. And they'll only probably use, lose one of those guys because of uh, restricted free agency and, and uh, UFAs and just things of that nature. So with all of this said... Matthew Kachuk, who was probably projected to be a fourth, fifth overall pick um, at the latest, ends up going sixth to the Calgary Flames and will most likely play on a line with Sean Monaghan and fellow American Johnny Goudreau. Now, Kachuk um, is leaving the London Knights. He's playing with guys like Mitch Marner and Christian Dvorak um, and only... Uh, Euro Levy. Um, so he's been in good company in junior and he's coming to a team with, uh, you know, like I said, Monaghan and uh, Goudreau. I mean, there's your projected top line for like the next five years in Calgary. And they've got a new coach and they're back on track. They had a bad year last year, but you can expect them to um, really do a lot of damage in the coming years with, with drafting Kachuk. I mean, he's a, he's going to be a power forward, um, physical player with a lot of skill. So Calgary has a lot to be, um, a lot to be excited about there. And that brings me to the end of this video, guys. Just a quick video. I just wanted to recap very quickly the top five or six picks because I was really excited that they didn't go one, one, two, three, four, five the way we expected them to. I mean, that's what we expect out of the draft. Um, some excitement, some unexpected stuff. So there you have it. Again, if you've stuck with me this long, guys, stay tuned for another video coming up. Major announcement about my channel. And like always, give this video a big thumbs up and give me a subscribe. I can really use the support if you haven't done so already. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.